I think it's time we address the two elephants in the room. First one being the weapons DLC. Just want to say, yes, I'm going to buy it. Yes, I'm going to do tutorials on it. Yes, I'm going to, you know, make turrets and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys how to make guns. Hopefully, though, some of my viewers will have a bit of prior knowledge, because it turns out most of my audience is American. The second one is the fact that we now have a new feature. If we take a look at this seat here, you know, where you guys play your fat asses every day, we've got two new thingy my bobbies. Now, a simple-minded person would say, oh, yeah, they're just used for turrets, and controlling planes, stuff like that. You know, I am not simple-minded. I think things through. That is why you guys are here, because you want to know how to do the big brand stuff. And so I, something better. If you didn't know, there is something called a laser point sensor. And a laser. And we can use those laser point sensors to detect the laser. And we can now aim the laser with our seat by looking. So I have this. Does this look like three machine guns? No, it's not. It's literally just a laser, two laser sensors, and two light. I mean, we can do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the big brain solution to all your problems. Friends, annoying family members, enemy navies, deadly crossfire guns. Let's, uh, let's, let's teach you American kids how to make this thing. First things first, get a platform, put down a seat. Now, you'll notice we've got these two nodes. Look X, look Y. This is where you are looking, big brain. Now, you look X and you look Y have a maximum rotation of that when you're facing this way, your look X is at 0 0.25. When you're looking this way, it's minus 0 0.25. So as a result, we end up, and it's the same with up and down. So we end up with, if we want to look full this way, which is 0 0.25, or minus 0 0.25, our turret is only going to rotate like that because that's the equivalent of zero minus 0 0.25 on a pivot so we need to multiply these by four multiply constant number put it into our b values look up our initial values set this to four because one divided by 0 0.25 is four so we need to multiply the seat values by four to get it into the pivots correctly and let's get some pivots. With this particular mass setup here, it's very important that you have the pivots facing the right way. If you put this into a microcontroller, it's probably a good idea that you have an option to enable inverting the output because pivots, placing pivots is annoying. But we want to have a pivot as our base, which is rotating to the right so rotating clockwise as the positive and then we'll want to have another pivot on top where rotating upwards is the positive so laser distance sensor i hope this laser is not powerful enough that it can blind orphans oh well if it is it sucks to be there oh we have this trigger thing as well which you know if if we're not holding any equipment and if we press, you know, left mouse button or space, depends on what you set it to, it's a trigger. So that'll be really useful for guns as well. Rotation target. For our Y, look Y, done, X, done. Ah, oh, I forgot to do... Okay. I forgot to hook it up. Okay, so now we have a laser that will go everywhere, and you can see where it lands, there is a point. Now, the other thing, hang on, it's not going right to the circle in the middle. Now, that is because, if you see, if we look into the sky, it, it reaches that point perfectly. But that's because this laser, um, it stretches to 4,000 meters. 4,000 meters is a long distance, and the reality is, is that, you know, at 4,000 meters, at that 4,000 meter point, it will be right center in that reticle. But because 
this is not 4,000 meters away, this is 4 meters away, it's not going to actually reach it, because there are obstacles in the way. So, we can, you know, we can target like this, and we can do stuff like that, and, but yeah, so there's the actual laser target done. Microcontroller, name it something. Four nodes, done. Do, do, do. Output. Output number X. Output number Y. Why am I failing at this so badly? Composite, and doesn't matter. Okay. Read. Read. Maybe I should do more of that. Channel 1, read. Two numbers, one of them on channel two. That is going to go to our Y. That's it. Look it up. Oh, wait. I'm just going to add a light because you know, so that we actually know what's going on. X bottom pivot, Y top pivot, composite laser point sensor, spawn. Okay, so it's it's the laser point sensor. You have to place it without orienting it in a funny way. It should it should really have an up and down arrow on it to show you if it's facing the right way. But you know we've got it we've got it aiming properly. So now that we've got that and we can do some deadly deadly aiming techniques that will always aim to the correct position without any funny math. Let's put another one on. Now, just to show you that actually we do have crossfire. One's red, one's green. Should make yellow light, I believe. In the center, yeah, it does. Okay. Now we have four turrets. And they are all aiming There's one laser, but if we were like, if we were aiming, if we were aiming there, you know, okay, so if we, let's sit at this point, let's sit at this point, all of these are directly shining at us, like look, bang, 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 if anyone is here, they are dead, anyway boys, yeah, um, thank you for watching, bye.